I want to show you my top 20 stock picks that I publish on my website. It's part of my cheat sheet program uh, so that you can understand where I think the stock market is going because I want you to make a lot of money. But before we get to the top 20, I want to give you an explanation as to how I derived those top 20, how I narrowed them down. I started out with about 36 stocks. And what I believe is you can learn about a stock's performance based on its past history. So I created this uh, chart here, and it's on a, a Google spreadsheet. And what I'm showing you here is the 36 stocks and their historical performance. Now, this is all part of the cheat sheet on my um, on, on my website. What I want to do is put some predictability into what they might do over the next two and a half years. And so I give you on here their uh, rate of return every year back until 1999. Now you'll see some of them weren't in business in 1999, but what I want you to focus on is the bottom three lines. And that, is, that gives you its 20 year uh, average rate of return, it's 10-year, uh, and it's 5-year. The most important are the last five years because this is when technology has changed dramatically, and so we need to see how they reacted. You'll see a lot of yellow, bright yellow. These are the years they showed a loss. You'll see that on some years, they all showed a loss, and that's because of situations that occurred, the pandemic, uh, the, the recovery from the pandemic, the uh, financial crisis, the dot-com bubble. You can see they all react. Then I want you to have some relevance. So on the far right, I'm showing you uh, in the dark line, I'm showing you their average return uh, over that period of time. And then on the next to that, I'm showing you uh, the S&P's average return. And you can see the these stocks consistently outperform. Now, I also got to share, this is very sector oriented. Uh, I choose to deal in semiconductors and big tech because I think that is the area that is going to change most over the next two and a half five, or five years. And that's what I invest for. I don't really get worried about interest rates and politics and things of that nature because I can't control those. I don't worry a lot about momentum of the market other than to analyze the stocks that I choose to invest in and to find the points at which I want to invest in. So we've got history now. We see that we can then narrow it down to some stocks to um, to, that are going to be our best performers. So then I take you to my cheat sheet. My cheat sheet gives you more in-depth analysis of these 36 stocks. In, in what they're trying, what I'm trying to do is I'm showing you their current price. Then I'm to showing you based on techno technicals, uh, earnings or 200-day moving averages, nine-day moving averages, relative strength index, uh, Sibonacci retracement, things like that, I am putting in where I think you might want to buy in. When I first did this about a year ago, I got the comment, your, your buy-in prices are ridiculously low. Well, surprisingly or not, we've covered some, most of them. It's when I said that you will be able to buy into a super macro computer for under $700 when it was at 1,000, people told me I was crazy. But I knew I was right because history and techni technology te or technicals told me I was right. The same on NVIDIA, the same on Vertiv. We, we predict the price based on momentum and, and uh, historical stock movements within the market. So that column gives you the buy-in price. Then what I do is I do some analysis, fundamental analysis, uh, based on projections of revenue and earnings per share, all driven by Wall Street's projections and, and, and uh, predictions of what their earnings are per share and what their uh, revenue is going to be in the coming three years. That's how then I create the, the green column in the uh, cheat sheet that predicts what the price is going to be at the end of 24, 25, and 26. And that's where I focus on what is the price of the stock going to be on January the 1st of 2027, because that's what I'm really interested in. I can't deal other than where to buy in and where to sell 
uh, on a technical basis, and that's that's what we do there. So that gives you. Um, oh, and then I also show you the uh, institutional ownership, and we update that on a weekly basis. Are the institutions moving in or out of the stocks? And that gives us some information that helps us if we want to buy in and buy out and move with or against the institutions, we can do that as well. That then brings me to the top 20 sheet. What I then do is say, okay, of these 35 stocks, which are the top 20, meaning which are going to give me the best return on my investment over the next two and a half years. And that's how we break that down. Now, you're going to see on the top 20 that I give you their 52-week high. Uh, and what that does is gives you an idea as if this market uh, turns around as interest rates come down and as political situations mellow a bit, where might they go? to their 52-week their high, what percentage are they off of that high, and then on the other side of the equation, what is their 52-week low, and how far above the 52-week low are they? Now, what you'll see is this brings to light some very depressed stocks, some stocks that are 60% are below, such as super macro computer, their 52-week high. That may project a opportunity. And then you see others that are um, very close to their low, and that says that's an opportunity. Let's Looking at um, SYM, only 4% 4, 4 above its low and 175% off its high. Well, somewhere in the last 52 weeks, somebody believed that SYM, Symbotics, was worth 175% more than they are today. Now, what you need to do and what I do is listen to Symbotics uh, earnings call and find out why is this 175% down and what should I do relative to what I learn on that earnings call. And you'll see then on my next slide, my portfolio allocation. And what that does is it shows you how I've allocated my funds within these stocks to take advantage of what I think is going to happen. I believe, such as Symbotics as a, an example, they are, they are uh, robotizing uh, all of Target and Walmart's uh, warehouses, and then they are, have entered into a program with uh, SoftBank to do, offer that kind of AI technology to smaller distributors as well. And I believe that I will get a tremendous t return out of his symbiotics in the future. So that is how I analyze stocks. Now, this what I want to do is make this available to you. Now, I, I, I understand uh, that people are skeptical. I don't believe that that this is possible and he can do that. Well, I want you to have a 30 days to make your mind up. I want you to come to my website, bestofusinvestors.com and, and sign up to get gain access. Just give me your email address and no credit card and then a, and I will give you access, a, a code to gain access to all of this information on my cheat sheet. It's all there, concisely done. And you study it for 30 days. You see how we do. Because the, what, the next step is right now, I'm negotiating with developers. Developers, I'm basically taking all this information, all the, the an analysis that I have done, both financial uh, and, and technical, fundamental and technical, and I'm saying to a developer, put it into a AI agent. Put it into a format that actually uh, uh, screens all 4,250 uh, stocks that are available to me on the U.S. exchanges and put it into these sheets, okay? Drop it in there on a daily basis so that I and my, my tribe can make better investment decisions, not only for the 34 stocks that I have time to analyze, but for all 4,000 250 or whatever there are at that any given day uh, of the market. So that will then give you access to not only this sector, that is semiconductors and AI, but all sectors so that you can see if there's a, if there's a, a growth opportunity in the market in any sector 
what is the what is the potential? What is the projected price in 2020, end of 24, 25, and 26? And then as time moves forward, we'll go to, uh, to the end of 27. This is available. And what I'm doing is I will pay these developers something in the neighborhood of anywhere, I'm not sure yet, somewhere I believe between ten and $25,000 to create this program to do all stocks available in the United States for purchase. And to do that analyze and fill all of these sheets uh, every day automatically to help me make better investment decisions. Now, then what I'm going to do is to the developer is going to take it, we believe at this point to Amazon and say, give us access to all the data in the world on these 4,000 stocks and update it on a daily basis. So what I'm going to connect to is Amazon's GPUs. And I'm going to do that on the behalf of my tribe. My, the people who want to gain access to the ability to predict what stocks are going to do and not have to pay the toll of, of, of a hedge fund who is going to want 2% of your assets under management every year and then share in your gains for you take 80%, we take 20%. No, I want at the end of the, the month, if you believe this is the path you want to go, you give me your credit card and then you move forward with me and the rest of my tribe, as we plug in the AI agent driven by Jensen's GPUs out of Amazon's data centers. And it will update these charts I just showed you for not just 34 stocks or 36 stocks, for 4,250 stocks or how many ever stocks there are on the given day. Now I've write, written, I'm, I'm writing the algorithm to feed to the developers, and then we will develop this and make it available to you. Because I only have three goals, three goals in the rest of my life. And that is for me and you to make better investment decisions. For me and you to keep more of what we earn by learning and understanding the tax code. And then for me and you to make a difference in our family's lives, to leave a legacy of knowledge, of investment knowledge, and a, a big bunch of money that they can live their lives and enjoy their lives, unlike most of the people in the world. This is, this is going to be bigger than anything in the past. In my past videos, I have shown you the numbers. There's, there's 8 billion people in the United States. And those 8 billion people, 66% of them have access to the internet. That same 66% will have access to artificial intelligence and machine learning. And that's what's going to drive this market. And if we can identify it by using that same artificial intelligence and machine learning, we can identify the stocks who are going to outperform the S&P 500, outperform any other uh, form of investing, then we can achieve our three goals. I'm Kerry Grinkmeyer, I'm a retired financial advisor. I've got a lot of time and experiences. I got a CFP, a CFC, CHFC, and a CLU. I've done a lot of study. Every day I study this further. I am in contact with Meta's, Google's, and, and Microsoft, and Amazon's programs so that you have access to artificial intelligence to help you pick the stocks that are going to give you exponential rate of return. Talk to you more about this in the future.